So the Dallas Mavericks um, haven't been playing the national anthem at their home games all year. And uh, Mark Cuban just admitted, yeah, it was his idea. He's not going to play the national anthem any anymore. Uh, this coward didn't make an announcement. He just uh, stopped playing it. He didn't tell his players. Um, but it doesn't surprise me. As as disgusting as this is, it doesn't surprise me because Mark Cuban is a sellout to China. And there's no great conspiracy going on here. It's bottom line greed. The love of money is the root of evil. This guy loves his money more than he loves his country, and he's a total sellout to China. I seen it last year when Megyn Kelly asked him straight up, will you condemn China for the genocide they are committing on the Yiger Muslims? It's a literal genocide. He would not condemn China. She says, do you feel comfortable with your ties to China as they try to impose communism uh, and break the agreement they have with Hong Kong? Are you comfortable with your ties with China as they systematically kill the Yiger Muslims, as they, they have forced abortions, forced rapes, uh, they take their body parts and sell them? This has all been confirmed. This is not some crazy conspiracy. Communism is evil, and the Chinese are evil communists. And Mark Cuban is making millions. He's making millions. And him and all these star players that are making millions, LeBron James is quick to condemn our police over here, but he will he refuses to condemn the atrocities going on in communist China right now. And again, it's because he's making millions over there. These guys are complete sellouts. And it shouldn't surprise you. Guys like me have been warning you, if we put Biden in, who's totally compromised by China, his ties run deep. I mean, this is this is this is no conspiracy theory. A bottom line, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden's greed, greed led them to sell out America. And, and this is why the elites, these billionaire elites and the media elites hated Trump for no other reason, because he was the first president since JFK to stand up to China and call it like it is. And he brought 600,000 jobs back from China. When Biden and Obama said it would take a magic wand, there's no way these jobs are coming back because they didn't want them to come back. These guys are all sellouts. Mark Cuban, you should be ashamed of yourself. Not only are you a, tra a traitor, but you're a coward. Mark Cuban, you were a regular guy like me. You had a great idea for a sports website. You made millions. You sold it and made billions. God bless you. God bless America. And that should make you love this country. But again, you sold out. Your love for your money has compromised your thinking. And you're not going to play our national anthem. You're a disgrace. If I lived in Dallas, I would boycott all your games. You're a disgrace. And... Things I, I want to say as a Christian, I'm going to hold back and just say, Mark Cuban, you need to repent and remember you live in the greatest country in the world. If you lived in communist China, no one would even know your name. You would just be a peasant that had no rights, no freedom of speech, no freedom of religion, no free enterprise system. You would basically be a slave. So uh, I just thought you guys ought to know that. And... Uh, Pray for this man, and God bless America.